Hey Dunchbags, what's going on? It's Landon Remixes here, and welcome to my review of the debut album from Mako. This one is called Hourglass. Five years ago, Mako was created when the festival DJ Logan Light and the Juilliard graduate Alex Seaver met. They combined forces to their immense success, spawning singles like Into the Light, Beam, and Our Story. And that's right about where my history with Mako starts, with the release of Our Story, the original version, not the Ultra Records release version, in 2013. Mako hit it big with a deal from Ultra in early 2014, which began their path to stardom. Our Story, I Won't Let You Walk Away, Smoke Filled Room, Children of the Wild, each successive single was even more successful than the previous. Luckily, Mako's flavor in music seems to have evolved with my taste in music, so I've stayed a steady fan all these years of their songs. Kind of starting out with that Swedish house mafia brand of melodic big room house and progressing to further feature more tasteful instrumentation throughout their tracks. Needless to say, when Mako announced their debut album on Ultra Records, I can't say I was absolutely excited just because I know what Ultra Records tends to do with promising artists. As you might already know from an Ultra Records release placing number one on my top 10 worst albums of 2016 list. Surprisingly though, the opposite seems to have happened as Mako has practically completely dropped the DJ gig and has evolved into a live band with this album. With Hourglass, we see Alex Seaver's musical talents hitting greater depths than we ever have before. And what I originally expected to be an album full of forced radio singles ended up being a very solid work of pop and rock music. Instead of being smudged by the fingerprints of Ultra Records, Hourglass is covered by the hands of Alex Seaver. His vocals, instrumentation, and production wrap this album all up into a very nice little package very nicely, and I can comfortably say there wasn't a whole lot of material on Hourglass that I didn't like. While albums like this would typically be covered with singles from years past, this one only has two, surprisingly. And that's Smoke Filled Room and Our Story, and Our Story doesn't even sound remotely like the original did. In fact, it's been renamed to Hourglass Finale, and I can definitely say that this track is a finale. Drums, guitar, orchestral elements, beautiful chord progressions, this finale has absolutely everything you could want. Although I'd have to say, I wasn't absolutely crazy about Seaver's vocals, considering it kind of sounds like he's trying to put up an accent that he doesn't really have have as an American, but his vocal performances on the rest of the record were actually pretty beautiful. In fact, the only tracks that I really strongly didn't like on this album were the ones that featured people that were not him. <laughs> it's not like I absolutely hate the song Wish You Back, I just think Quezzy's vocals sound really disconnected from the rest of the album. Along with that, Run For Your Life with Rat City sounds extremely forced and out of place, but that's probably really the only bad seed they planted with this album. Is this album perfect? Absolutely not, but in my opinion, Hourglass is a collection of some of Mako's best music as a duo to date. I'd take most of the songs in this album over most of their singles any day. And if I know myself, songs like Way Back Home are going to keep me coming back to this album over and over again for years to come. For Hourglass, I am feeling a light 7 out of 10. As always, I have the Spotify link in the description if you guys want to go check out that album for yourself, although I'm sure a lot of you have already listened through it at this point. Hope you guys enjoyed this little filler review. The next one up is of course the top 10 albums of 2016 and I'm looking really forward to uploading that one. Anyway, I'm Landon Remixes and I'll see you guys later. Peace.